Hey. <laughs> so, a lot has changed in the last three years. We moved to Colorado and we built a garden out of our empty backyard. And um, so we did a lot of work on it last year, but this year I'm about to even do some, some more overhauls. So I wanted to get you guys updated before I made some big changes. Camille, do you hear the doggy? <laughs> it might be a little challenging to do videos with three kids and a dog now. So, how old are you guys now? How old are you, Max? How old are you? Four, three. I mean, eight. <laughs> you just turned eight, right? I'm yeah. four. You're four, almost five, right? Last, eight. Last time we did a video, you were only three, Hondora. Huh, or two. I think you were only two. And you were five. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So we've had a few changes around here, one of which being, you want to introduce her? So this is my fluffiest sister, Holly. And she's the fluffiest, cutest puppy dog, at least husky in the world. So we're about to, I'm about to do some, some more changes and I'll try to keep you updated on, on how those go. Are you going to help me? We're going to get a playpen set up out here so Camille can join us. And the kids like to play under the tree. Okay, is this your play area? This is our play area. And this is my favorite spot in the backyard. <laughs> Why do you like it? Because it's shady? Yeah. And is it sandy? Yep. And it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Cool. cool. <laughs> wow. Right now it's really cold. Yeah. <sighs> so last year this garden, so last year this yard had nothing in it but a bunch of weeds. Um, we put in the dog kennel. I built the garden fence. I tried to plant clover and grass. And they put in those buckets, and we had this tree trimmed. So this is the garden bed that I, the garden that I put in last spring. I think I finished it a little less, a little over a year ago. It's got four, four by eight beds in it. Um, we have some Canterbury bells, those green things down there, and some crocus. And then in here, do you know what those green things in there are? Inside? In the big garden beds? Uh, garlic? Garlic, yep. We've got garlic and beans along that. Oh, what is this desk? Good. You probably heard me talking about them, huh? Yeah. Okay. So this is garlic I planted in the beginning of December. These are fava beans broad beans and back there was going to be strawberries in the back Ooh. one of them I think only one of them is sprouted but I may have, you're right your foot's right by it see that one by your foot by your toe what is it it's a strawberry oh cool also we chives. have some Oh, I thought they were green onions. Those are chives. These They all look the same pretty much. Those are chives, these are garlic, and then these are green onions right here by the edge. Whoa! I've never seen such big green onions. We got some radishes right here. 
purple radishes. I gotta put wood chips down here. I gotta show my wood chip pile. Under here are some Brussels sprouts and cauliflower that I wanted to keep protected from aphids and caterpillars. And I need a, another armature for this bed. Just last night, I transplanted some lettuce out here in this area. There's also some cabbage. Max helped me plant bean peas back there behind. Last year there were sunflowers and this year I'm planting peas first and then sunflowers and they're gonna grow up behind the garden fence and cover the chain link. Really pretty with the sunflowers. I've got garlic in every bed. In front of the fence, I have a bunch of flowers planted. Just last week, I planted this bare root um, peach lady apple tree. Last year, I had melons planted in these yellow tubs. This year, I'm going to try some different things, not exactly sure what. And then in this area outside of the of the clover yard, I'm going to try some experimental crops that I did not do last year. I'm going to do corn over there in the corner between the two fences. Then I'm going to try some quinoa and pinto beans right around this area. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to plant my onions, which I already have started. Um, that's going to be one of my projects this week. Max, do you want to show how sandy the soil is? This is what we have to work with here. It's literally like a sand pit. Dump it out. Yep. So it blows and washes down the hill into this corner, almost pushing the fence over. You can probably see how it's filling that corner. So I just bought some sandbags off of Amazon and they're going to deliver those today and we're going to work on getting sandbags filled up to um, block some of that erosion and then we're going <laughs> to then we're going to build up a little structure on that hill so that we can plant things on it. Yeah. yard we have lots of weed problems we have of course goat heads and sand burrs that I'm trying to eradicate we've also got lots of these perennial weeds that just dig their roots down and come back year after year I'm trying to replace it with clover but that's only succeeding in a few spots got some more baby lambs here We don't really have a sprinkler system back here, at least not anymore. We, uh, when we first purchased the property, we didn't realize we had one back here. And we had all the weeds tilled up and it, it uh, destroyed our water system. So now we gotta fix that. Um, at the moment I'm watering with a, with a, just a regular overhead sprinkler that I have to remember to turn on and off. In these three tubs, last year I had squash, or four, four tubs. In these four yellow tubs I had squash, and uh, butternut squash, and zucchini, and this year I planted some peanuts in each one, but they haven't made their appearance yet. So I do have some wood chips that I recently had dropped off. So I've been on chip drop for a while trying to get a chip drop delivery for um, covering the weeds and mulching the beds and no response for over six months and now um, but just last just two days ago I saw a neighbor getting their trees trimmed and so I stopped by and asked them if they'd want to drop it off in our yard and they agreed so i got my first drop 
and it's going to be one of the projects this week getting the wood chips moved to the backyard for paths <laughs> look at there one of the peas has sprouted oh turn your bird up make your bird sit up falling over. So I planted some peas in here. I think it would look cool for them to grow up there. Some of them are pink and white and they're all edible. That's not true. There's some butterfly blue pea flowers. These are the onions that I need to plant in the backyard today or tomorrow. There are also planted some catnip in here. There's catnip. There's cilantro in here and some wild flowers. This is a lilac bush. This is our amazing spruce tree. And then we have a rose bush here. It makes very simple pink flowers. So this is kind of our storage corner right now. We got some leftovers from old pallets our truck shell that we're kind of using as a makeshift garden bed, shed. I got some free leaves here that I'm using for my compost. And then this area, we hope to put in a shed, a storage shed. Um, that's one of the projects for this summer. As you can see, our backyard is on a very prominent slope. The neighbors put in some retaining walls, but I think we're going to make do. Um, the flattest part is back there where the dog lives and the, it's great for sledding. The kids like to sled here in the winter, huh Max? Mm -hmm. In this ugly part of the yard we have my pile of soil that I bought. We have some cardboard that I'm going to use to put under the wood chips. We have my compost barrel right next to to the compost bin where I'm layering. We have a gate here for easy access with the loads. Huh? What are you saying? <laughs> and then right along this fence I like to plant um, morning glories and vines to help cover this chain link and kind of make it shady for the dog. Like it? You gonna get your playpen set up? Camille? Camille? Hi. <laughs> Are you my garden buddy? Another project I'd like to do this summer is to replace this bench that was left here. Our dog got a hold of the front of it. I also spilled some paint on it. And I think I might be able to refurbish it. It's kind of... Oh, bless you. You can see it's wobbly. It's not the greatest. This is a piece of a trellis that my mom gave me and I thought I could use it as a hoop for my bug netting, but it didn't work out. I also got to fix this board that popped loose this winter and get those wood chips put down in those pathways. Lots to do.